For our project, we chose to analyze the sling throw. It's often used by soccer goalkeepers to deliver a short to mid-range ball to initiate a quick counterattack. In the stance phase, both the left and right knees are slightly flexed. Knee flexion utilizes the quadricep muscles, which are made up of the biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. Both the left and right glenohumeral joints are asymmetrically contracted, stabilizing the joint. This utilizes the pectoralis major, deltoid, and supraspinatus muscles. Both the left and right ankles are isometrically plantar flexed. Ankle plantar flexion utilizes the gastric nemius and soleus muscles, which make up the triceps surya. Both the left and right hips are isometrically contracted, stabilizing the joint. This utilizes the iliopsoas, rectus femoris, pectineus, sartorius, and tensor fascia lata muscles. Both the left and right sides of the pelvic girdle are isometrically anteriorly rotated. Pelvic girdle anterior rotation utilizes the erector spinae, iliopsoas, rectus femoris, pectineus, sartorius, and tensor fascia lata muscles. In the stance phase, both the left and right scapulothoracic joints are isometrically contracted, stabilizing the joint. This utilizes the serratus anterior and middle and lower fibers of the trapezius. Both the left and right elbows are isometrically flexed. Elbow flexion utilizes the biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis muscles. Both the left and right radioulnar joints are held in isometric supination. Radioulnar supination utilizes the supinator and the biceps brachii, and when coming from neutral into full supination, the brachioradialis. In the stance phase, both the left and right wrists are held in isometric flexion. Wrist flexion utilizes the flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and palmaris longus. Both the left and right hands are isometrically flexed. Hand flexion utilizes the flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, flexor pollicis longus, and flexor pollicis brevis. In the preparatory phase at the knee joint, the left knee begins in flexion and ends in extension using the hamstring muscles, and the right knee starts in extension and ends in flexion with the quadricep muscles. At the glenohumeral joint, the left side uses flexion, upward rotation, and extension with the pec major, deltoid, and upper trap muscles, and the right uses flexion, downward rotation, and extension using the rotator cuff, deltoids, pec major, latissimus dorsi, and the lower and mid trap. At the ankle joint, the left ankle uses plantar flexion and dorsiflexion um, with the plantar flexor muscles, and the right uses dorsiflexion, more dorsiflexion, and plantar flexion with the plantar flexors and dorsiflexors as well. At the hip joint, the left hip uses uh, flexion using the iliosopus muscles and the pectineus, the rectus femoris, and the sartorius, while the right uses extension with the gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. The pelvic joint, the left side uses anterior tilt and internal rotation with the gracilius, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus muscles, while the right side uses more external rotation with the six deep external rotators. The scapulothoracic joint, with the left side, uses upper rotation, retraction, and adduction um, using the satyrus anterior, trapezius, rhomboid, and levator scapular muscles. And the right side uses downward rotation, retraction, and adduction using the pec minor, rhomboids, and satyrus anterior muscles. The elbow, the left elbow, starts in flexion and goes to extension using the anconius, brachioradialis, brachialis, biceps brachii, and triceps brachii, while the right begins with flexion and ends in extension using the anconius, brachioradialis, brachialis, biceps brachii, and triceps brachii. The radial ulnar joint, the left side, uses pronation with the pronator teres and pronator quadratus muscles, while the right uses supination with the supinator and triceps brachii. The wrist and hand joint, the left side uses flexion into extension using the FCR, FCU, PL, FDP, FDS, FPL, ECRL, ECRB, ECU, ED, EI, EMD, EPL, and EPB muscles. And the right uses flexion with the FCR, FCU, PL, FDS, FDP, and FPL muscles. During the movement phase, in the left knee we see isometric flexion, which utilizes the hamstrings muscles, while on the right side we have extension, which uses the quadriceps muscles. 
All the way up in the glenohumeral joint on the left side, we have downward rotation and extension, which uses the pec major, deltoid, and lower trap muscles. While on the right side, we have an isometric extension, upward rotation, and diagonal adduction movements, which use the rotator cuff, deltoids, pec major, latissimus dorsi, and upper trap muscles. Moving all the way down to the ankle, on the left side, we have dorsiflexion and eversion, which uses the dorsiflexors, peroneus longus, and peroneus brevis. On the right side, we have plantar flexion with inversion, which puts to use the plantar flexors, tibialis posterior, tibialis anterior, flexor digitorum longus, and flexor hallucis longus. Moving up to the hip, on the left side, we have an isometric contraction, which is using the iliopsoas, pectineus, rectus femoris, and sartorius. While on the right side, we have extension, which uses the gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. In the same region, the pelvic girdle, on the left side, we have anterior telt coupled with external rotation, which uses the six deep external rotators. And on the right side, we have internal rotation, which uses the gracilis, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. Moving up to the scapular thoracic joint, on the left side, we have downward rotation, retraction, and adduction, which use the trapezius and rhomboids muscles. While on the right side, we have upward rotation, protraction, and abduction, which uses the pec minor, serratus anterior, upper trap, subclavius, and levator scapulae. Moving down to the elbow, on the left side, we have isometric extension, which uses the anconius and triceps brachii. Similarly, on the right side, we also have isometric extension, which uses the anconius and triceps brachii. Moving down to the radial ulnar joint, on the left side, we have isometric pronation, which uses the pronator teres and the pronator quadratus, while on the right side, we have isometric supination, which uses the supinator and triceps brachii muscles. Finally, in the wrist and hand, on the left side, we have isometric extension, which uses the FCR, FCU, PL, FDS, FDP, FPL, ECRL, ECRB, ECU, ED, EI, EDM, EPL, and EPB, while on the right side, we have isometric flexion to extension, which uses the ECRL, ECRB, ECU, ED, EI, EDM, EPL, and EPB. At the follow-through phase, so at the knee joint, the left knee goes through isometric flexion via the hamstring muscles. The right knee goes through extension via the quadricep muscles. The glenohumeral joint, the left goes through extension and adduction, and the pec major, subscapularis, lat dorsi, teres major and minor. And the right goes through eccentric diagonal adduction and internal rotation via the deltoids and infraspinatus. The ankle joint, the left goes through isometric dorsiflexion via the dorsiflexors, and the right goes through eccentric plantar flexion via the plantar flexors. And the hip joint, the left goes through isometric contraction via the iliopsoas, the pectineus, rectus femoris, and sartorius. The right goes through extension via the gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. At the pelvic girdle joint, the left goes through anterior tilt and external rotation via the six deep external rotators. The right goes through internal rotation via the gracilius, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. At the scapula thoracic joint, the left goes through retraction and adduction via the trap and rhomboids. The right goes through eccentric protraction and abduction through rhomboids, mid, and lower traps. At the elbow joint, the left goes through isometric extension via the anconius and triceps brachii. The right elbow goes through eccentric e extension to flexion via the anconius, brachioradialis, brachialis, biceps brachii, and triceps brachii. The radio ulnar joint, the left goes through isometric pronation via the pronator teres and the pronator quadratus. The right goes through isometric supination via the supinator and triceps brachii. The wrist and hand joint, the left goes through isometric extension via the ECRL, ECRB, ECU, ED, EI, EDM, EPL, and EPB, whereas in the right goes through extension deflection via the FCR, FCU, PL, FDS, FDP, FPL, ECRL, ECRB, ECU, ED, EI, EDM, EPL, and EPB. The sling throw movement occurs in the sagittal plane about the frontal axis. This style of throw allows the goalkeeper to deliver a quick and accurate ball to his or her teammates to start the counterattack. 